April Madison joins us in studio. Feeling better? I am feeling better. Yes, thank you. Uh, I think everybody in the room would agree that you are an adventurous woman. Sure, yeah. All right, all right. All right. Um, Professor George Church of Harvard Medical School is in search of an adventurous woman. For what, might I ask? Well, he believes that he can reconstruct Neanderthal DNA and is looking for a human volunteer willing to allow that DNA to be put into human stem cells and then a human embryo. Fortunately for me, <laughs> there are a lot of other adventurous women in the world, and I'm not the only one. You see, Neanderthals have been extinct for 33,000 years, but George Church, he's a genetics professor at Harvard, believes he can bring them back with the help of a surrogate human mother. This doesn't have the recipe for disaster at all, by the way. Uh, Advent so they really need to use a different word than adventurous. <laughs> crazy. Crazy might be good. Looking, Searching for crazy woman. I don't think it would be that hard. You know, I mean, it, I mean, are they going to be that to find a crazy woman? discriminatory against the woman who steps up to have the Neanderthal baby? I mean, I've watched, <laughs> you know, Jersey Shore and <laughs> Here Comes Honey Boo Boo and right. all those shows. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, you know, for 50 bucks. Yeah. You know, in a box of hoes. That funny one isn't going to be 734. Welcome back to the John Justice Show. April Madison feeling better. I am feeling better. Joins us in studio with an extended look at your forecast. I'm glad you're feeling better. You Thank you. We were having a rough. We were kind of all having. I was struggling. A... I didn't want to be here. I, I knew I was contagious. I well, knew you I wanted was to sick. be. You wanted to be here. Right, but I you wanted... just didn't want to be here. Right. Right. You I would rather work seven days of work healthy. Yes. Seven days a week than to be yeah. sick and, you know, even be home. I cannot stand being sick. Yeah. No. And, it's not, and then it's to have to fun. work sick on top of it, it's yeah. just horrible. Yeah. So um, I'm still a little bit under the weather, but I don't feel as bad as I as Look I did. Tell. You're a little more. You're, so. you're, you're, you're back to you're back to your <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. You know, sprightly self. So that's good. Anyway. Um, the smiles tell me I need to um, go ahead and put the <laughs> temperatures, headphones on. Temperatures warming up today, though. Crazy. Uh, nutty. Yesterday was 80 degrees. I know. It got warm. That's like 14 degrees above average. I'm back in that stupid air conditioning mode now again. Stop it. Where I have to, where it's I have to 80. do it. No, 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 no. AC during the day and then heater you at don't, night. And I gotta, just open. Can you not handle 80 degrees? I don't like to. I'm not going to complain. Everyone's like, you can play with. It's cool to complain you with. You hot. You <laughs> are such a girl. When it comes to that, yes. Why isn't it me girl? I just... um, I'm a girl, so I can say that. Okay, fine. Um, no, open up the windows. It's not 80 for that long. It's not like it's 80 from the time the sun comes up until it, you know. But I don't like being uncomfortable. Yeah. If I can control the climate, I will. I can tell you you're not the only one. I'm sure there's a lot of people using their air right. during the day right yeah, now right. and heat at night. A lot of people do that. There's right. a lot. There's also a lot of really... Just stop. Well, yeah. Just okay. go. Thank you. Just go. <laughs> Thank you. Before I get my the insults have returned, <laughs> along with April Madison's help. Seventy-nine is the high today. So.